Welcome back to Shadowgate. So, we've explored the catacombs, and we actually think we're ready to confront Talamar if we want to. We also tried solving the remaining puzzles in the catacombs, most notably this one, and we seem to be stuck. Now, we didn't try speaking to the door. Let's see what happens. Failure to response. Okay. So, our best idea is to follow up on some leads inside the castle, starting with the Jin. So, his last riddle was... What strength and force cannot get through, I, with a gentle touch, can do. And at this point, we've solved it. We know it's a key. We need to find a specific key. We have two new keys. Let's try this one first. They are right in front of you and can open the very large doors. Aha! An evil smile spreading across his lips. The Jin grabs the key from your fingers and reaches down. What? You're not taking my soul, are you? The djinn takes the key and unlocks the chains that bind him. In a flash, oh. the creature is free, but not before snapping the manacles over your wrists, trapping you forever in the tower prison. Nuts. At long last, it cackles gleefully. Those wizards shall rue the day they imprisoned me. Tis a sad thing. That your adventures have ended here. Oh, Jin for the win. That doesn't get a number? Hmm. What if we use the key to free him? Let's try that. I was sure that would solve the riddle and like give us access to these stairs. Okay, let's let's also try the the other key. No. That was a close one. Card specifics. Huh. It is kind of a clever way to <laughs> seek his own freedom here. Challenge people to riddle, so. What if my last wish is that you are free, Genie? No? Hmm. Can we just free him like this way? No, the manacles. Uh oh. Just strain strains at his chains and whispers a word. Huh. This doesn't seem right. It seems like there should be. Give us another clue. I, with gentle touch, can do. Three times a charm. Ha ha ha. What if I use some gold? Okay, so it's not the Jin riddle, apparently. Hmm. Now, there was one other clue that we haven't used so far that I feel is related to the Jin. This one. This was a very early clue. Picture a shadowy castle with an arrow. Drawing to the castle with a single tile spire in the center has been scrawled onto this parchment. A single line points to the exact middle of the tower. These words. Three times right, then once pulled down. Twice past midnight. Points to the ruined crown. Light becomes dark. The king sits a throne. The masked one revealed shall, mar shall mark the stone. Hmm. I don't know what these instructions are referring to. It's obviously some sort of puzzle. Three times right, then once pulled down. Those could be like directions, like take three rights, then go down. But that doesn't really make sense anywhere except the catacombs, and we fully explored the catacombs. Twice past midnight. That again could be a direction, like, uh, you know, like 15 degrees or whatever points to the ruined crown. We don't know what the crown is referring to. Maybe King Duggan's crown? Light becomes dark. King sits the throne. The masked one revealed. Shard mark stone. So we have to go digging? Go digging for something that will please King Duggan? <sighs> but, okay. Interpreting this as directions for the catacombs is one thing. But look at the first part of the clue. A single tall spire. Obviously Shadowgate. 
in the center. So the center tower and the middle of the tower. That has to be this room right here. It has to be here. Look at the map for the castle. So this is the tower we're in, which I assume is the middle tower. Even if it wasn't, the exact center of this tower is the genie room, the Jin room. The center of this tower is the Dread Pumpkin room, which like we've already accomplished stuff there. The center of this tower is the the music room, which I feel there's something there, but I'm not sure how to solve it. Huh. Shall mark the stone. What about this stone? What if we take our hammer and smash the stone? What if we, what if we try taking his stuff? I want this bowl, this ostentatious bowl. Reading your mind. <laughs> well, he wasn't that angry. He's kind of, kind of happy that we. Not happy, but he's, he's amused by our greed, our human greed. Huh. It really feels like he should be able to solve his final riddle. That's, that is nonsense. We'll come back here, maybe. Alright. Key notwithstanding, let's try this door. This was locked. Let's try the Jin key. Didn't think so. What about this? Human bone key. No. Very strange. Got a statue. You can, like, pray to these statues. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to do with the statues. Okay, but I have better better ideas. Um, one idea was with the recipe machine. And we just want to check the battlements to see if our glasses work. So this water... That's something else as well. We have a scroll, which, where is it? Which is crumbling. When you open it, it just dissolves into nothing. So it's dry and brittle. Maybe it needs moisture. So let's take the scroll and dip it in the fountain. No. What about our water? Let's also test as long as we're at it. What happens when you use the water on the cloak? Ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> so that does work. Huh. Might as well get another another water as well, as long as we're here. So, about the recipe machine. We had one recipe that didn't work. Uh, like it gave us the black licorice result, which is sort of like the generic result the failed recipe. Uh, we did think like maybe we had the bitter the bitter ingredient wrong. Because I was assuming it was bitter root referring to our this root, but the flour was also specifically bitter when you ate it. That didn't work. However, all our attempts we were using the water as the brackish base. So brackish usually refers to water can mean unpleasant, it can mean salty, but if it just means unpleasant, it might refer to something that's not water, and this was the most unpleasant thing that we ate. So let's uh, say of course. So let's assume this is the brackish thing, and start with the powdered skull of rodent. Can you actually smash this into powder? No. Okay. Rodent skull. Now, the possibly brackish base. Uh, yeah, that's the second ingredient. And then our new bitter item. And let's mix it up, baby. Does not appear to be different. Mm. Does seem somewhat promising that we don't have the brackish thing correct. And then one of these two is the is the bitter root. 
I mean, powdered skull of rodent, that has to be correct. Can you put the skull in the... Where's our rodent skull? Can you put the skull in the bowl, like a mortar and pestle? No. Okay. Doggy. Okay, so it's not the recipe machine. We tried the gin, we tried the... the door. <laughs> what happens when you knock on this door? No? Huh. Okay. Let's go to the battlements real quick. We haven't tried reading these, uh, like, ancient writings, wearing our glasses. These things. And can we... Can we use this? Yes. No, wait, no? Ah, oh, that's not good. We no longer have access to the orb, it looks like. <laughs> ah. So what if you didn't have the platinum horn? Because you need the orb to get the platinum horn. Because you have to use the fire elemental. Alright, let's... We are wearing the glasses, right? Yes. So read... Can't understand a word, okay. There were other scripts we could try. These things... Can we speak to them? Huh. Okay, I'm going to think about stuff to try. See if there's anything we can do, any puzzles we can solve. Okay, let's try some things on King Duggan. We know we can't give him the ring. That'll just kill us. What about these treasures, my lord? No. But it is solid gold, my lord! No? Yeah. What oh, is this shitty gem? Ah, this rare dragon egg will please you. No. Uh, he says he's like mummified. Can you torch his clothing? No. What about... Alright. Look how beautiful you are, my lord. <laughs> okay, I went back to an earlier save uh, be when we still had the silver orb. So I want to try stuff with a fire elemental. Uh, use the log. Try using the fire elemental on that frozen spider. Hello? Yes? Okay, here we go. Again, I don't think it's going to work, but maybe we'll get a message. Also, some other stuff I want to try. I also want to try messing with that dragon again. Uh, I did have some ideas that I don't think they're very likely, but they're kind of interesting because they involve sort of starting the game over. <laughs> One idea was this book here. This was Ularu's book. And I don't think we can pull this back out. Can we take it? No. Can we take it now? And we can't use our release spell, can we? No. Did, did messing with that uh, undo the door? No, let's just open. Yeah, so that book was locked, you may remember. So maybe it was locked because its only purpose is to be slotted in there. You're not supposed to open it. Maybe it's locked because you're supposed to get a key and open it before you use it. So, <laughs> uh, oops. So what about like these two endgame keys? Maybe you get the endgame keys before you use the book and open it. That doesn't quite work though, because you need the book to access the library. The library gives you access to the map, which is needed to cure the Banshee Curse with the Jin puzzle. And unless you cure the Banshee Curse, you cannot get 
these end game keys because the catacombs will just kill you instantly. Okay. <laughs> Something else, an idea I had was that mirror uh, way back. I think it might be best to. Um, not broke catacombs? Here. This mirror that was broken in this. Uh, we think this is like Talamar's hidden away study. Maybe it's broken because we broke it uh, earlier in the game when we mess around in the Hall of Mirrors. Uh, should I try some stuff here? Uh, out of curiosity, is this water brackish? Can we drink this? Okay, it's disgusting, but okay. And can we throw our coins down this well? Does that give us any message? Same message it looks like. This one. Oh, uh, <laughs> what message you get when you just jump down the well? Barely have time to register that now that there is no that there is no water. If your head hits a stone at the bottom and explodes like a rotten pumpkin. What a coincidence! There was a pumpkin inside there all along. Okay, let's just reload our save there. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, maybe the mirror in Talamar's study was broken by us when we went through the Hall of Mirrors. Now, remember, on the far left and far right in the Hall of Mirrors, uh, I don't think. Uh, just since we're desperate for clues. No. What about this thing? The voice answers your mind. Be welcome, my brother, and be at peace. Hmm. Kind of need more than to be at peace here. We can't sit on these things, can we? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll go back a couple rooms. You don't need to destroy those far left and far right mirrors, right? What if one of these is the other side of that mirror, and by destroying it, we messed it up? Now, so like you could redo the, I could redo the whole game without doing that. See what happens. I still, I kind of doubt that, kind of doubt that that would be the solution. But if it, if it would have, but if that did work, that means you could get access to this key inside the, uh, inside the hollows without curing the Banshee Curse. I forget where we found this key, actually. I think it was inside of a sack, farther into the into the catacombs. I'm not sure if you could reach that without using the library. Maybe. But, so, maybe you could use that to open the book. Probably not. Another thing is this third mirror. <laughs> this was never activated. As you look at your reflection in the mirror, it bulges out as if something is pushing it from the other side. Can we find something somewhere else that is doing the pushing? Like something's in the way. Some careless bookcase. The enchanted hammer smashes the mirror with a resounding crash. Wow! We never tried that. The glass shadows reveal a dark void. Oh, this is just a... <laughs> you attempt to scream. But quickly realize there is no air. Your lungs release their last bit of air, then begin to swell. Is our air elemental? The rest of your internal organs. You have found a hidden death. Tis a sad thing. All right. What about using the enchanted hammer on the other mirrors? I think we did try the enchanted hammer on the hollows mirror, but. Uh, what are these ones? Whoa! Ho ho! So we can't use that anymore? Oh. This one. Oh. oh! There's no, like, way to repair this, is there? Real quick, I should go back to the pumpkin room. Okay, now we're in the storage room, which is the opposite side of the Hall of Mirrors. 
doesn't look like anything's different. Is the mouse going to come out to play now? No. Chose you for a good reason. And it wasn't for your looks. Oh, okay, so now can we walk through? We can walk through. Even though it's destroyed on this side. Huh. What happens if we destroy both pieces? Now, by the way, the the black void here that was a uh, a death in the NES version in this room, but you didn't need the enchanted hammer. It was just the regular hammer. So that was one of the failed mirrors, and you had to find the right mirror. Okay, what happens when we smash both sides of the mirror? Boom. Changes the sound effect. Oh, doesn't seem to do anything now. What happens when we smash the Dread Pumpkin uh, mirror? That was just the next room over. Smashy, smashy. No. Passes right through. Stronger and different type of enchantment. I use my sword and such. Hmm, okay, I guess it's just different. Now, why is it different? Is there some reason we absolutely need this to be working? Hmm. We can't take these anymore, can we? Can we smash this stuff? Thinking that this might be a particularly interesting comedy routine, you contemplate smashing the pumpkin with your makeshift sledgematic. Said the mess isn't worth it. Okay, one last th thought before we move on is the description of this mirror says bulges out as if something's pushing it from the other side. So if there's a vacuum on the other side, the force should be pushing it away from us, right? So maybe this really is a portal. But the other side of the portal is blocked by some <laughs> careless bookcase. And the void is just what happens to be behind the actual mirror. Like, behind this mirror is a wall. I don't know. <laughs> it does seem to make more sense that the, the portal leads to the void, but whatever. Well, no, if, if the portal really does lead to the void, then why does smashing the portal open the void? That doesn't make any sense. Like, smashing this doesn't open the storage room. Let us try our fire elemental on this. Frozen mass, perhaps that of a mess out of arachnid. Does our wait, does our magic enchanted hammer do anything? No. Okay. Come on, fire elemental. Do something, baby. No. He doesn't do anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just took a random swing there. A large icicle. You've got this one, lad. You got the vote of a disembodied <laughs> skull. <laughs> I was feeling confident without you, but, you know, a little more extra help. We actually found not a snowball, but an ice ball. Can we get more? Oh, I'm trying to... Wait, can we... Keep, keep chipping away, get get him out. So there's just like that one little spot that we could chip away. You gotta be kidding me. Now remember, we we had a recipe. I'll read to you once more. The coupling shall contain one part death, one part sweetness, one part withered aromatics, one part frost. We tried the snow petal flower for frost. This obviously would be a better thing. We could also make a martini with it. <laughs> Can we do that? Nah. What happens when we, uh... As expected? Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. We don't have anything else that needs, like, ice, do we? I think it's just that recipe. Now, where... Where exactly did we chip away from? Here? I 
Here. No. I. Uh, this was before I shipped away, right? Where in the. Where in blazes did that? Look, I have the hot key. The hot spot indicator on. I can't even find it. What the heck is this shit? <laughs> what is this, 1990s? Maybe if I check that tape. It said an icicle, so it should have been something like. There we go. Any more of these? Uh, I just want to reload once more to make sure I really got this. So one of these icicles here. Uh, that is sneaky. They do kind of give you a hint here. You swing the hammer in a white arc, barely avoiding the huge icicles. Try to do it a little faster, okay? <laughs> okay, so that's something to try, but that's not the reason I came here. We still have that fire elemental, right? Yeah. Let's venture back to the dragon! Smell of brimstone. Now, I always figured during my first playthrough, as well as this play playthrough up till now, that this guy is just there to be the puzzle. Like, this is a puzzle that's testing your ability to guess what items are important. Like, we don't have any other items except this shield that can give us more turns. However, <laughs> what if you're supposed to defeat this guy? Or maybe please him by giving him his babies! Uh oh, did we do something? Move towards the dragon. No. <laughs> An angry roar! Runs your shield. While you are safe, your shield finally succumbs to the dragon breath. But this absorbs fire. So I'm going to be safe. No. What happens if we... I really thought the dragon eggs might do something. What if he gives them gold? Since dragons like gold... What if we distract him with some of these coins? It does sort of seem like that there is something you can approach him with. Or maybe they're just trying to... I mean, it could just be the text preceding your death, but... Mm, I imagine the ice elemental wouldn't work. What do dragons fear? Lightning? Like Dark Souls? Uh, we've tried giving them gold. Two types of gold. I doubt these would work. Could try a mirror. Redirect his fire back at him. Could try the ice. <laughs> Imagine just get melted instantly there. What about some spells? The Dread Pumpkin! We can't even cast our spells, really. What if we do this? Just for good luck, let's uh, take our ice. Brimstone. Have we ever seen brimstone elsewhere? Maybe the furnace? How cool would it be to like defeat this dragon and then like somehow fiddle with this sealed up uh, treasure chest? You don't think he wants this, do you? Okay. Let's try... This is my last like good idea. Wait, do we actually have a text for this thing? Whoa. You can't switch from a spell to, to the look command. That's weird. Hmm. 
Hmm. So we can cast a spell as long as it's not at him. <laughs> okay, we have the ice. Got the ice cube. We can try uh, the recipe. I'm thinking, though, we'll do that next time. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.